may question my logic and intention for doing this again, but understand that just just go with it, okay? It, it'll be fine. Everything everything will be fine. And I have received a few suggestions, um, and I'm gonna I'm gonna take into account both of them. Uh, the first suggestion was, hey, uh, you know, AI tends to draw from, like, actual people. Um, yeah, that's what it learns from. And most people don't refer or even know the species name of dinosaurs, or even most animals in general. Uh, and this is true. My logic before was making it the species name would make it as precise as possible, but that's only from a scientific perspective. Uh... But most people don't call, say, Triceratops, Horridus. Most people don't even know what Horridus is. They just call it Triceratops and leave it at that. So, maybe if we drop the species name, we might get a different result. The other idea was to be a bit more descriptive with the AI, give it specific instructions. Uh, mainly, the two words, scientifically accurate and see how it handles that. In that way, there should be no logical excuse for it to be confused. So I'm gonna do some repeats this time and see how we do. So we're gonna start with the words scientifically accurate, and I'm just gonna actually copy that. Uh, that way I can just paste it in the future. And we're gonna start with Tyrannosaurus. All right, so scientifically accurate Tyrannosaurus. We're gonna drop the Rex, although admittedly, I think Tyrannosaurus is the one exception to the species name rule. I mean, everyone calls it Tyrannosaurus, but I think most people also know the Rex part because Rex is short and easy to say and sounds cool. But I'm still gonna leave the species name off. We're just gonna go with the genus name. All right, all right. We'll see how the AI handles this. I was afraid of this. Someone replied to... God. Someone replied to... <laughs> to the, um... To the person mentioning the scientifically accurate idea. And specifically said, that'll probably just cause the AI to add feathers. And you know... <laughs> you weren't... Wrong. Um, that is exactly what it did. A and the heck of it is, they didn't even fix other issues that I'm noticing. For one thing, this is a hot mess. Uh, this is, this looks like, this looks like you'd like tar and feathered a Tyrannosaur. Like, the, the feathers don't even look like they're properly attached. They almost look like spikes. Uh, the other concern is that a lot of these Tyrannosaurs here are very skinny. And very shrink-wrapped. Uh, this isn't scientifically accurate. Uh, it probably doesn't help, but especially in the Tyrannosaurus's case, the adults probably didn't actually have feathers! Um, they're one of those dinosaurs, uh, among theropods that likely didn't. It's so some paleontologists believe the juveniles might have, but the adults probably really didn't. Uh, at least not to any significant extent. Certainly not this level. Um... So, we're off to a rip-roaring start of so much wrongness. So, obviously, nothing here has helped. But let's try the Triceratops. And I swear, if they give Triceratops feathers, I'm gonna flip out. Because, <laughs> cause, well, it didn't do that. Uh, there it goes. Uh, well... The legs are bothering me and look a bit bulgy, very elephanty. Uh, this one isn't too terrible. You know, not bad. Uh, not bad. Very glorious. Very beautiful. Very just, just yeah. Uh, didn't do what I expected. This could be worse. These are these are okay. This it did it did okay here. So we get a we get a pass on the on the trikes. But do we get a pass on the Velociraptors? Oh boy. I'm so excited. We do not. Um, it, it, it gave... Too many too many toes again. Uh, it, it... 
these are just JP J Jurassic Park JP Velociraptors with feathers. That's that's all these these, these are. Um, very shrink wrapped. I think the shrink wrapping is worse on these. Like these are literally, literally just the JP Raptors. If you added feathers, this is not a. These are not Velociraptors. They, that is not what these are. You are you have you you have failed me again. I don't know what I expected. But let's try let's try let's try a a, a, a sauropod cuz we've we've been very hit or miss and by hit or miss I mean basically just miss with sauropods in general when it comes to this thing. So we'll see how it handles a scientifically accurate brontosaurus which is debatably an oxymoron since some would argue that <laughs> Wait. That's <laughs> that <laughs> you. I can see some sauropods in the background that don't appear to be brontosaurus, but like what? Is, no, it's a plant eating. Well, it, it, it <laughs> you did it. Again. See, and it's those are that is some that is some, what? I'm sorry. Honestly, the whole thinking. Theropods are sauropods is par for the course now. I have very little to say other than my minor annoyance. I'm focused on the background here. What? What horrific gene splicing hybrid abominations are... This is an affront to God. This is why we cannot let AI be involved in the development of any cloning technology. Because we're going to get some horrors beyond human comprehension okay that's a bit closer to a brontosaur that's that's a bit that's that that's not that that what whoa what <laughs> freaking tail head it, see it's the backgrounds that are killing me here this the, 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 this isn't terrible though the, the the animal itself and then we have this uh with some more horrors in the background uh and standing on two feet it's It doesn't know what a brontosaurus is, but does it know what an apatosaurus is? Let's find out. The answer, it would appear, is no. And right, I'm going to give Stegosaurus uh, a chance here. Uh, we were close last time. Uh, they were very rainbowy, as I recall. But one of them was wasn't too far off, so maybe we'll get we'll get something fairly decent with a scientifically accurate Stegosaurus uh, here, or, 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 we won't get that at all, uh, or anything remotely close to it. I mean, it, <laughs> this is just like a, an alternate evolution of Bulbasaur, uh, as far as I'm concerned. This is, yeah, uh, no, it's had a lot of problems with pterosaurs in general. So I don't know how this is going to work. Can you give me a proper flying reptile for once in your artificial life? You did your best, and... Not great, um, but it's it's on the right track with this one. Same thing here. It's a bit of a dragony head though uh feel like the proportions are off on that one and i don't know why it's got more than one hand effectively um but there's little there appear to be pick no this one this one's pretty good huh that's okay um there, there's some issues but, I mean, overall, this might be the best one so far. Uh, <laughs> it, it, it did it. It, it did it. It, it, it actually kind of did it. The same cannot be said for the Mosasaur, which has become very colorful and looks... That's just a theropod's head, as far as I'm concerned. That's not even a... That's not even a rep... That, no. Uh... Similar issues. Very, very colorful, though. This is just, this is just a, this is just an aquatic dragon, is what that is. Uh, 
same energy. A lot of very veiny, though. What the heck is going on there? Is it a zombie? And that one... Eh, too many teeth. Way too many teeth. Uh, and again, with the uh, big scales. This is, this is a fish. This is a big, angry fish. Uh, I, I think... I think is more accurate with that. Um, yeah, not, 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 not handling Mosasaurus particularly well. It, 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 it tried. So I had one specific request that I couldn't pass up on because I love Godzilla, and there is a dinosaur known as Gojirasaurus Ke, which is apparently, according to the AI, just a T-Rex. Uh, <laughs> Pretty much. These are actually closer to T-Rex than the uh, me attempting to tell it to, to make a scientifically accurate T-Rex with the exception of the spikes. Just to be clear, a Gojirasaurus KE looks like this. Um, so, not a T-Rex at all. Uh, in any way, I'm going to give it one more shot. To see if it gets away from the T-Rex for me. That would be nice. And if this doesn't work, I will give it a third chance, which I know is unheard of so far. But I will add the word scientifically accurate. You have failed me again. These are just, these are not just cartoony T-Rexes with so many parrots and monkeys. What does it have to do with anything? And again with the parrots and monkeys... Too many claws for a Rex. Too many toes in general. It, it, it. I don't understand the parrots and the monkeys. I don't know what that has to do with any of this. Hold on. Scientifically accurate. One more time. Just one last hurrah. Can it handle this? No! No, it... How do I tell you... It's not even... Okay, first of all, first of all, first of all, how do I tell you specifically, scientifically accurate, and you make it less so than the last two, in terms of dinosaurs in general? That's the first thing. Second of all, this one isn't even in the picture. You've cut off part of its head. That's just... At least center the frame! Like, what are you doing? That one's at least... That one's centered, but... Uh, again, wrong. Uh, this one too? Why? Scientifically accurate. Did you mean bad photography? I guess so. Um, I don't... It doesn't know what a Gojirasaurus is. Somewhat understandably. But, to the surprise of everyone involved, it did not attempt... To create a Godzilla for us. Which, I, I wonder. Let's do one last thing. Just for giggles. I'm going to do what I've been doing this whole time with everybody else. And drop the species name and only use the genus. What will you... This would be a great boss for a video game. Um, cause that's, that's beast. Um, just from a design perspective that it looks awesome. It's wrong in every conceivable way, but it does look so cool. Gotta give it that. And with that, a special thank you goes out to my apex predators, Metal for Life guy, Dr. Racer 78 and Arthur Roy. Till next time, this is Darkness, and I bid you all a fun farewell.